This extract is from the fiction novel called The Things They Carried, written by Tim O'Brien. Uh, even though this is a fiction novel, it is based on the author's own experiences as a soldier who took part of the Vietnam War. Uh, this Vietnam War was a conflict between the South Vietnam, supported by the anti-communist allies, and the North Vietnam, supported by the communist allies. And Americans were involved to this war as part of anti-communist, and almost 500,000 Americans were sent to this war and end up with having more than 350,000 casualties. Uh, because lots of young people died during this war, Americans had strong anti-war movements. And through this book, the author conveys the difficulties that American soldiers faced during, this, uh, during the Vietnam War and also the after this Vietnam War. Uh, in this extract, uh, which is from the chapter of The Man I Killed, the author illustrates about the man that he had killed during the war. And O'Brien delivers the theme of storytelling through this book and conveys this theme in this extract uh, by illustrating how he delivers the story of the man that he killed and how he coped with his emotions, which is the like heavy guilt and shame. He uses repetition, diction, characterization, irony, and other literary devices in this extract to deliver this theme. Uh, in this extract, the author uses repetition by starting with uh, then he said. Uh, so he repeats then he said, then later he said, then he said, then after long empty time he said. And uh, by using this repetition, he describes like how hard Kiowa Kyo tried to console O'Brien from the fact that he had killed a man. And also from the Kiowa's first quote, uh, he says that the guy was in Heidi. He had a weapon, right? And this uh, the Heidi symbolized as a symbolized as a pure and in, innocent person. Uh, and this shows that O'Brien's shame and guilt were getting larger, like because he imagined that the man he killed were, was an innocent person. And also throughout the whole extract, uh, author the author re repeats he and his, which indicates the young man that he killed, to emphasize that. Uh, this young man is the main subject of this extract. And he mainly described that man by using visual imagery such as um, uh, such as he, his eyebrows were thin and arced like a woman's and uh, long shapely fingers and smooth skins. Like all of those imagery characterize the man this young man as a pure and innocent human uh, which is the main reason that O'Brien is gaining more of the guilt and shame after he killed him uh, after he killed that young man uh, also he uses uh, the author uses rhetorical question asking if he could not fight little boys he thought he could he, uh, how could he ever become a soldier and fight the Americans with their airplanes and helicopters and bombs? And this also emphasizes that uh, the author had heavy guilt kept in his heart, his mind, her heart, by imagining that the man he had killed might be too innocent that and couldn't even like fight little boys and didn't had any cap capability to become a soldier. Uh, also, he wrote this extract in third po uh, 
point of third person point of view, and this shows that the author is willing to、uh, separate himself from that the fact that he had killed killed that young man, that innocent man. And、uh, in this par in the paragraph where the author described the about the man he killed, it starts off by saying. The butterfly was making its way along the young man's forehead, and this butterfly symbolizes、uh, this butterfly symbolizes beautiful and innocent creature, because、uh, but but this it was making its way along the young man who was dead, and it is. Ironic because both beautiful creature and death is conflicting concepts, but he's just describing as if they have like close connection to each other.、Uh, also, he describes the man he killed by using positive connotations such as、uh, undamaged, smooth, and fine grained, which is. Also, an irony because dead body is far from those positive connotations, and these ironies shows that the author is delivering his his war story by using these positive connotations and a、uh, po positive feeling of、uh, positive symbolism to get relief from the strong negative facts that he had murdered. And also, the butterfly is a mo motif of this extract, which symbolizes that、uh, Orion is letting go of those thoughts that the man that he killed. And at the end of this extract, the author states Kiowa's quote, which has juxtaposition. He says, "You feel terrible. I know that." Then he said, "Okay, maybe I don't know."、Uh, By juxtaposing the two contradicting words, I do know and I don't know, it shows like that the guilt, which is an emotional burden, cannot be relieved、uh, by transferring to others.、Uh, the guilt and shame that he had felt from this incident relates to the theme of that the soldier had heavy emotional burdens through this novel. Also, because the author is trying to cover his guilt by telling the worst, his worst story that he had killed a man by using those ironies, characterizations, and other literary devices,、uh, it relates to the theme of the storytelling in this extract.